Now we'll look at psoas muscle length using the Thomas test. We can use this test to differentiate between tightness in the psoas, rectus femoris, and the TFL. The Thomas test also shows you hip flexion and extension range of motion. Okay, so Jade, could you go ahead and step around to the end of the table here and perch your hips right on the edge, even closer. Perfect. Okay, and now as you roll onto your back, bring your knees up with you and bring your knees up to your chest. Perfect. All right, so this will be the starting position for the Thomas test. Now, Jade, please lower your left leg. Keep holding onto your right leg there. Good, and lower it down as far as you feel comfortable. Do you have any discomfort, pain here? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. So now we'll look at how far down this leg hangs. Now, a couple things we wanna look for here. How far down the leg hangs is an indication of the length of the psoas as well as the rectus femoris. Now from here, if we bend the leg, you doing okay with that? Mm -hmm. Let me know if that's uncomfortable. Okay. If there is tightness in the rectus femoris, there will be greater difficulty bending the knee back. If this tightness is in the psoas, it won't make much difference when the person bends or straightens their knee. But difficulty bending the knee or a tendency to lift the knee up when the knee bends back, that is more of an indication of tightness in the rectus femoris. Because the rectus femoris crosses both the hip joint and the knee joint, while the psoas muscle, of course, only crosses the hip joint. The other thing we can look for is how far out the knee sways to the side. If there is tightness in the IT band, we'll see lateral movement of the knee out to the side. So you wanna take a quick look at the alignment of this leg, as well as the position of the lower leg hanging. Okay, now go ahead, bring this leg up. Okay, and let's lower the right leg. So now we wanna compare the right leg to the left leg. Again, we'll look at how far down the upper leg hangs, how far down the thigh hangs, what position the knee is in here. And then we'll also bend, you doing okay with this? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. We'll bend the, the knee and we'll look both at the ability to bend the knee and if flexion of the knee causes the person to lift their knee up in the air. If the person's knee rises up when we bend the knee, that is an indication more of rectus femoris tightness. And then just as we did on the left side, we'll look at the alignment of the knee to the hip and we'll look at the alignment of the knee to the hip specifically to see if that knee flares out to the side, if there is a lateral deviation of the thigh, which indicates tightness in the IT band. Okay, and let's go ahead and bring that knee back up. Now we'll do that again. This time I'll see if I can apply a little bit of, of overpressure on the person's thigh just above the knee to see how much flexibility and bounce back there is if the person can tolerate it. Be sure to check in with your client or with your patient throughout this entire test for their comfort and so that you know if they are experiencing any symptoms during this test. Okay, Jade, so let's go ahead and lower the left leg again. Good. Okay, so here I can apply a little bit of overpressure and just see how much flexibility there is. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. I can also move the leg a little bit in and see how tight that is. If there is a lot of resistance to that medial movement or if there is a bit of flexibility there. Good, and then again, I can bend, try and bend the knee back this way. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. Good. And see if anything changes in the position of the knee. Okay, and then we'll help that leg back up and switch. Okay, and on the right side, we'll apply a little bit of overpressure and compare the left and the right with the amount of flexibility and rebound there is. Check the ability and check the flexibility and the amount of rebound. And then move the knee a little bit to the inside. And take note of that medial lateral movement. And bend the knee a little bit. Yeah. And take a note of any changes in the position of the knee.
Okay, good. And bring that knee back up to the starting position. If you notice that the person is having a hard time holding their leg with their knee up to their chest during this test, you can also try placing their foot right against your hip so that they feel really good and stable during this movement. So I could say, Jade, go ahead and yeah, put your foot right here on my hip and then let's go ahead and lower your other leg. Good, and then from here, we'll do the same thing we did before. You know, some people feel more comfortable with you securing their foot here. And for some people, this might feel a little bit more uncomfortable or they might feel a little more vulnerable and they may prefer to hold their own leg close to their chest. So talk with your client or with your patient uh, going through this test and make sure you work with them to find the most comfortable position for them. If you found this video useful and want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification bell.